all my beautiful wool base layers. They've been so nice to travel with. So I've been wanting to do this video for a while, reviewing wool products for travel. So in the last probably four or five years that I've been backpacking, I've heard tons of people raving about wool clothing. You know, the merino blends, the t-shirts, the icebreaker, the smart wools. Um, Trespass, there's so many like outdoor brands that are focusing on wool right now and I just wanted to go over how I feel about those products and kind of the pros and cons of using those. So here's uh, four different wool, uh, merino, these are all, I'm pretty sure these are all 100% wool and they're all, you know, a thin, a thin style. None of these are sweaters. They all feel like t-shirts, pretty much. Like, they're all very thin fabrics, like, you would just casually wear as a base layer. And so, these two are icebreakers. This is a smart wool, and this is on the lower end. This is from Decathlon, like a Kachua or whatever brand. So, that's the cheapest of them. And then, these all run, like, close to $100 per shirt for these wool fabrics like this. And I just kind of want to go over what I think about these. So this is the first wool t-shirt that I got. I got it used actually. This is a icebreaker. This is one of their classic styles. Maybe you guys have seen. Um, it still kind of looks like this, their style, but uh, they've, they've changed the colors a little bit, I think, but it's kind of like a slim cut, like a tapered cut or whatever. But this shirt, um, when I got it, I was super excited about it, like totally in love with it because it's uh, when when this shirt was for sale, it was over a hundred dollars like hundred and ten dollars for this shirt right here Because the hundred percent quality merino wool and I was super excited about it But as I wore it like many other wool garments I'm getting little snags and I'm getting holes all over this so like here's one hole here I can see in the sleeve here There's holes here. I don't know if you can see this. There's some holes right in here that are forming um, there's a hole here that, uh, got repaired. Um, there's a couple big holes right in the very front of the shirt. I got this, this one stitched up here, but that was a hole as well. Uh, so that's the first shirt. Uh, the second shirt, uh, this decathlon one. So this is one that I got trying to get more wool clothes and just didn't want to spend too much. So this decathlon brand, um, much lower quality. Uh, wool, definitely, like these are budget shirts. Let me see the blend on this one. Uh, this one says 70, no, this one's only, uh, yeah, 70% wool, 30% acrylic. So this one feels a little bit softer because it's not 100% wool, like it's a little bit uh, thinner and has like some stretch to it and you can even see through it. So this one dries super fast. I like this shirt, but same problems again, holes, guys. Holes everywhere, not too many on this one. I see one hole, and then I think in the, oh, one right in the front. Right here in the front, like, people are going to see that when you're wearing this t-shirt. You know, this is great, but you get holes in it. And that was only, I don't know, I bought this shirt, I guess, three years ago. I haven't used it that much, but. So here's the next icebreaker shirt that I have. This is also over a $100 shirt. 100% merino. This is uh, the hoodie style one that they have. So this one's nice. I was looking for a long sleeve because I had a couple of wool t-shirts and I really loved them and was like, yeah, I got to get a long sleeve. So I got the icebreaker long sleeve here. But guess what, guys? Getting holes. Getting holes. Little. This is. This might be a little bit of a snag. I don't know. But um, I think there's some some holes down in the sleeve of this one also. Um, so yeah, like just uh oh there's a hole there's a hole in the back here definitely and uh so yeah that's got a couple holes i really like how this feels i like the quality of the product with wool doesn't smell that bad after you know a, sh a few days of wearing it uh but again here's uh the smart wool wonderful but look there's some hole right here right on the front of the shirt this one i think also down the sleeve couple big holes. There's a big hole on this one here. There's a one up by the collar. I got holes here. So this shirt's comfortable. This one feels a little bit like thicker than the other ones. Like this is not mid-weight, but it's a thick base layer. So I like this one. It's a, it's a, just a long sleeve smart wool. 
100%, I'm pretty sure, let me double check if the tag is not washed out or not. 100% merino wool made in Vietnam. So Smart Wool, another expensive brand, make really good products just like Icebreaker does. But you get in the holes! So that's the main issue with these bad boys is you get t too many holes in them all the time. So before you devote too much of your travel clothing into wool, which is what I've been doing, trying to focus tons on wool, wool socks, they're great. I don't have much problem with wool socks because they wear out anyways, but just things like shirts, long sleeve shirts. I mean, if you're used to cotton shirts, you can wear those things like 20 years and you won't get a hole in it. Like cotton is super tough. You know, even polyester is pretty strong. Like almost any other fabric except wool seems to last a long time. So yeah, you do get the good breathability, the moisture wicking type stuff. And there's a lot of benefits of that. I really love it. But I kind of would say diversify your travel backpacking wardrobe because I focused a lot on these wool products here and now I've got a lot of shirts with a lot of holes in them and I can still use them as base layers but they just don't look presentable like I just kind of look sloppy when I got holes and I'm traveling around so all these you know this is like 300 and something dollars worth of wool shirts and they all look like crap on me so uh, I kind of want to know what's your guys' opinion on wool travel gear because I've tried a lot of different travel gear, all sorts of different fabrics, bamboo, hemp, nylon shirts, uh, rayon, uh, polyester, of course, like anything you can think of, cashmere, well, it's a sweater, but I tried all sorts of stuff. And what do you guys think about wool? Is it really as great as everyone says? Because a lot of people swear by it and that it doesn't smell, but it kind of smells after a while and it's great, but for the price tag, is it worth it? So give a comment guys, let me know what you think about the best travel gear. Subscribe to my channel if you're down for more travel type gear, reviews, backpacking stuff, camping stuff. But yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and have a good one. Keep on traveling.